Well, hello, Ultra VP fans. We are now um, finally at a point where the uh, upcoming pinup popper software for the Ultra VP is about to be released. What has happened over uh, the last uh, months, I think we've not really had a video showing uh, progress because um, a ton of things have been added. We're now at a total of about 1140 uh, tables on here. And what's more exciting than that is they actually were able to find a jukebox. Let me show you this here. You go over to the left here, you'll see that they have a brand new jukebox category that they've added. And that jukebox category is um, stocked with a thousand music videos. So when we go in here, let me load it up. So here we are. The, as you can see, this uh, play field right here is going to be um, your selection menu. You use your um, left and right flipper buttons. And then with that, you can then go through, as you can see, and select the different songs. There is a randomizer right here, as you can see. That one will play a small video for about a few seconds, and then it will start randomizing through those 1,000 music videos. Um, all the videos will be playing up there on the 32-inch screen. And that's pretty exciting. I think, uh, you know, you'll see a variety of different um, formats that it plays in. You have a 4-3 um, ratio format that's probably going to be the most common for older songs like this ACDC song here that's playing. But if I hit my launch button, see how it's going to just shuffle and go to a completely different one. If you have, uh, there's, there's a good example of one that uses the entire screen. So, um, of course, as you all know, most likely the uh, volume button underneath the front here of the machine allows you to increase the sound. And with the subwoofer in here, it's a pretty good sound system. So there you go. World premiere video. You can't take your eyes off of it. Let me just go to another song. And uh, you can also mute it. So just by tapping that volume button uh, on the bottom, underneath the front side of the machine, you can mute, like I'm about to do right now. <clears throat> the music video won't be uh, affected. It will continue playing. But if you put, hit it again, tap it again, it will unmute. So that's what we have now for you guys here as part of the uh, new pinup popper software. So the other aspect, of course, is when you go into the uh, All Games menu here, you will see it clearly states right here on the bottom that it has 1,138 games preloaded. Um, one of the more exciting games that just recently uh, was added uh, is um, Batman 66, which is a stern table that was recreated. I'm going to go into that one here towards the end of this video. Um, but... As you, I mean, there's really nothing missing right now here in this collection that matters. So, I mean, they've worked uh, tirelessly to add all the tables that make sense. So nothing really majorly uh, has changed since then, other than the fact that the latest, greatest emulator versions are on here now, all the latest versions of the tables, and uh, a lot more of the tables, right? One other area that I can uh, point to that they're going to fix before the release the date is, uh, is announced here is um, right here next to the uh, Pup Pack category. Right here we have the, uh, the Color DMD. That wheel is not going to be called Color DMD. It's going to actually be called Full DMD. So they're making a few adjustments to that still. And what that is going to help with is put in about four to five, six tables that are actually going to utilize the entire full DMD on the version 5.0 machines and up. Uh, as you well know, those machines have a full 15.6 inch stern type DMD screen. And there are games now that take advantage of that, uh, such as, for example, um, the, this new Batman 66 table. It can run in both two window and three window mode. And when it runs in three window mode, whatever gets put in here, is literally full size. It does not just use the middle sliver like most tables, but it is using the entire screen. Uh, other tables like that would be Harry Potter, the Monsters, Guardians of the Galaxy. So what you will see is 
Um, in about a week from now, this will be fully uh, adjusted to say full DMD and it will be part of the release. Now, the more exciting part of where we stand right now is that the, the effort that needed to be put in to secure the software with a, an encryption dongle is complete. So there's nothing else to do right now other than fix this issue, go over the last few tables to make sure that everything is exactly the way it should be, and then you will be hearing from us uh, with the announcement. So yeah, so let's go into the most recent category here. Um, I'm going to go over and show you the Batman 66 table. Here it is. The way it's being presented here is with the um, two window uh, or two screen version, right? Where you can see that the DMD is playing on the 32-inch um, screen. But like I mentioned, that, that here is going to end up in here as a full DMD table as well. So you have both versions you can select from. I will do some gameplay here towards the end of this video uh, about this table. But right now, let's just go through a, a few other uh, tables that have been added. As you can see, Bone Crusher, uh, sorry, Bone Busters here has been um, updated. It looks a lot better. It has 4K resolution, and uh, that is um, one of the later ones. Then we have the Ghostbusters table that has been refreshed uh, in uh, limited edition mode, but it also has a um, version now that has pop packs playing up here, the videos. This here is one of the new tables, Spider-Man Classic VE. So that has the video playback on the back uh, on this particular table. You can see how it says videos down here. Let's quickly go into the pub pack category here. Um, they've um, added the ABBA table, which is really just an offshoot of the, the Beatles table. Uh, let's see, ACDC, well, that one was there, but you can see how now wheel art has animated wheel art in a lot of, uh, on a lot of these, so that's, that's new. Let's figure out here what else is going on. Attack from Mars has also an animated wheel art here and uh, has a version with pop packs. These are all pop pack versions that I'm going through right now. Avengers has a pop pack. Two different Avengers tables here. One with video. This is professional edition. And then this is an, another take on it. We talked about Batman 66 already. There's another Batman table, the 1991 Data East table that has a pop pack. And the Stern Dark Knight table as well, Baywatch, The Beatles, Bugs Bunny has a, a pup pack now on the back, so that's new. Champions League, which is a soccer table, Coldplay, that's an original table, so this is uh, made by the community. Demolition Man, Dirty Harry has a pup pack. Another original here, which is a Disney Descendants table. Fun for the kids. Elvis. F14 has a pop pack, Family Guy. The Flintstones. Yep, you can see that playing here in the back there. Frankenstein, same there. And notice that a lot of our tables now have the color DMD right here, right? So this is no longer just amber. Um, when, it's up, when it was upgradable to color, it has been done. And everything is in English. Nothing, uh, no, no language mismatches. This is the Ghostbusters table I mentioned that has the pop pack playing. The Goonies, Grease. Again, Grease is an take uh, an offshoot of the Elvis table, but with uh, Grease songs. Guardians of the Galaxy has uh, a pop pack, apparently. It's not showing here, but it, it does play the videos. Guns N' Roses has a, a new table with pop packs. Harry Potter, of course. Hook. And here's a refresh of Independence Day. And that is with the pup packs on top. Indiana Jones, pup pack edition. Then we have Iron Man, Judge Dredd with pup packs. Lawmaster. 
Alex. The last Starfighter is an original table, and again, video playing on the back. Lethal Weapon 3. Lord of the Rings with Pup Packs. Masters of the Universe, also known as He Man, with the Pup Packs playing on the back. Medieval Madness has a new version now that has pop packs, and you can see the uh, nice animated uh, real art here. Metallica has a, a new version of the table that has pop packs playing. And then you have a Michael Jackson original table, so for you Michael Jackson fans out there that has pop packs playing. Another take on another Michael Jackson themed Walking Dead table here. The Monsters. You gotta charge your Zat meter. The Smurfs has video playback. Rocky also has a new table. And often, most of these tables exist uh, also as a uh, standard edition, like this Rocky table. You'll be able to play it both ways, right? You have it here in the pup pack section, but then if you go and do a search on R's uh, under the R category or under all tables, you'll find Rocky also as a standard table. This is an uh, original, meaning that they took the Simpsons table and they made a different horror theme for the Simpsons. It's called Treehouse of Horror with video playback. South Park has a version with um, pup packs. Space Jam as well. That's the Spider-Man table I just showed you earlier. What I'm excited about is that Star Trek tables are now uh, available with video playback. See that? The, this is the original 1991 Data East table, and that one has video now. This is an original uh, Star Trek Condition Red Ultimate Professional Edition here that was made for future pinball. But we also have it under Visual Pinball here, as you can see. And here's another one. The Next Generation has a video pop pack. New table out. Star Wars. Starship Troopers. Ninja Turtles. Tom and Jerry has a new table as well here with pop packs. This is a uh, music-themed uh, original table called Tool. And of course, because of the movie coming out soon, we couldn't miss uh, adding Top Gun here to the mix with uh, Pop Packs. Transformers, Trolls, Tron Pop Pack Edition, one of the better tables on here. Twilight Zone has a Pop Pack version, not only the color, just the, this is the color version, and then here is the black and white version with the same videos. Wizard of Oz, of course. Then the X-Files, with the videos, it doesn't show it here in the preview, but it has videos playing. X-Men, and finally, the last one in the Pup Pack category is a new Zizzy Top table. This here is a uh, Sons of Anarchy table that was added not too long ago. Uh, there's another table here that I like a lot. It's a Scarface table. Here's a new J Michael Jordan table. Um, that is also a Data East table. This is a fantastic looking uh, table. This is the Iron Maiden Virtual Time table. We also have artwork and uh, a nice wrap for that now. Here's the Evil Dead uh, table. And by the way, something I did not mention, but which is actually uh, also an improvement. The flashers on the back side here, they can be adjusted to uh, low, medium and high now uh, on the new software. So um, that was figured out. They, uh, they came across uh, code that allows to do that. So if this is too bright for you, not only can you turn it on off with the uh, on off switches that we have, but also uh, change the settings actually and keep them on and, and just bring them down a little. And of course, here you have the M&M table. That's an original that somebody created. It's 50. 
Don't forget this awesome Big Bang bar table that we have. Uh, that is uh, one of the better tables on here. It's a little racy, so I had it uh, added to the 18 plus category, but I wanted to show it off here uh, in this video. So quick recap overall in terms of emulators on this uh, final build. We have the Pinball FX2 tables. We have the future pinball tables and FX3 tables. And don't forget that we have the visual pinball tables, which it makes the majority of the tables. If you go in here, you can see it's, it's, you see it says 832 tables down here. So that's uh, the amount of tables that are under visual pinball. And of course, you can add your own favorites into this category here. So um, any table that you uh, know you're going to be playing a lot, instead of having to scroll through thousands of tables, you can stick it in here. It's pretty simple to do. Um, what you end up doing, and I think I've demonstrated that before in a previous video, you just use your extra ball button here when you're on a table that you want and you, you basically say add to global favorites and that will add it. And then there's also a way to uh, remove it from global favorites in the same manner. So that's pretty cool. Um, something else that's new that I uh, came across is that some tables, like Theater of Magic here that I just loaded up, and uh, also I believe that my, my favorite one, Tales of the Arabian Nights, they have a function now where if you hit the secondary flipper button on the right, you can change the filter. See how I'm just hitting that right now and it just changes the way the screen looks, brighter, less bright, kind of a orangish glow to it. Uh, and as I, as I keep hitting, you have the night mode here and then back to uh, full brilliance. That is uh, pretty cool. And I think more and more of these tables with the new uh, visual pinball versions will have this functionality. So here's the other one, Tales of the Arabian Nights. I'm gonna demonstrate the same thing. So you can see how it goes to blue, orange, dark mode. I think this one even has more filters than the other one. Look at this, it's really dark. Kind of like a yellow tint. Back to, yeah, I don't know what this, there we go. I think that's about the standard one, but it kind of tells you what different, this, this mode is called LUT mode. So LUT support, I think we're gonna see uh, more and more, and that's really super. Something else that I wanted to mention one more time is when you are on the menu system here, making your selections, you can um, just hit your coin button, and that will show you the actual uh, flyer that they had for marketing purposes for this machine. And then if you hit that again, it goes away. When you hit launch button on the other side, it gives you the instructions on how to play the game exactly, right? So the, you know that is uh, something that it's, uh, when it's available for the tables, we put it in. Like, uh, here, let's give this a try and see. go to another one here. Let's go to Star Trek Next Generation. Here's your, here's your flyer. And then right here is your, are your instructions. Just a few more new tables that were added, uh, and then we will do the gameplay I promised on Batman 66. This is Yellow Pinball Cha Cha. This is a table called World Challenge Soccer from 1994 Gottlieb. This seems to be a new one I haven't seen before called the Warlock, I mean just Warlock, a 1982 Williams table. And you can see the flashes on the back, those are subdued now, they're not as bright. Uh, when you stand up, uh, you won't even see the reflection hardly at all in the, in the glass. There are tons and tons of uh, older table that were added. I'm not gonna have time to show you everything, but this is a good example of uh, one of them. They're just, uh, you know, all over the place here now with this new build. Here's another one. This is the uh, Vegas Gottlieb 1990 table. Here's something cool. It's a little different. It's a vector pinball. It's a digital uh, pinball table. Here's something fun for the kids that was added. Uh, it's called Viana. Instead of saying Moana, they decided to uh, change the name, but uh, definitely based on the Moana uh, movie. 
<laughs> Here's a new table. It's an Unreal Tournament table. I'm sure a lot of you guys know that what the uh, the, the first person shooter game called Un Unreal Tournament. So this is an original table somebody made, and you can see all uh, up here. That's all color DMD again. A bunch of Zachary or Zakaria tables have been added here. So these uh, there are about a hundred tables from that new emulator. And here, before I conclude, this is just to show you how many tables, um, versions of tables can be in here for one simple table. So this is your Twilight Zone videos edition with the pop pack playing up here. And then over here, you have the black and white version with the pop pack videos. And then here is just the standard black and white. And of course, there's also your standard uh, regular Twilight Zone table. Yeah, here's your standard uh, regular one. And some tables uh, have an alt, or alt sound version, meaning that it has alternate sounds from the original. So this is the original, the way the sounds would s sound normally. And then somebody went through and decided that they were gonna change the sounds to have a second version. And all that is on here. Incredible. For all you Tomb Raider fans out there, there's a Tomb Raider table on here now. Thought I would show this one off. This is a very beautiful machine. It's a, a refresh and an improvement on the Time Machine Data East 1988 unit. Um, very colorful. As you can see the DMD up here is uh, full color. So yeah, I, uh, I like this one. Here's another uh, kids table that was added called Tangled with uh, pop pack videos on the back class. This is a brand new uh, Tales from the Crypt uh, mod that they released not too long ago. So that's completely been re redesigned and cleaned up. So that's pretty exciting. And it runs off of um, Visual Pinball 10.7. So the latest version of the emulator. This is a cool looking uh, wheel art that's animated right here. If you can see that. Another table that was just recently refreshed and updated is Strange Science. So you can see the play field is much better looking than it used to. Same with this table here, Stargate. This is a 1995 Gottlieb. One of my favorite series actually on TV. So awesome, awesome to uh, play. And just to let you guys know, on this final version, we will have no less than 30, and I mean different, Star Wars tables. All right, so this is a future pinball table here. You have all your Star Wars tables that are, of course, from Zen Studios Pinball FX3 efforts. And as you get closer and closer to the front here. You will get across. This is a, also an original table here, Bounty Hunter, that's new, with the full color DMD again. And then as we get closer to the front here, then you have your Data East table with video pop pack. Star Wars made by Sonic. Gottlip table. The same Data East table but uh, without pop pack. So that's really awesome. And then Star Trek tables, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight different Star Trek tables, including the 1979 Bali, the original. Two kids tables uh, with the SpongeBob theme. This is the bikini bottom pinball. And then this is your SpongeBob SquarePants original table. And let's see how many Spider-Man versions we have. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Spider-Man tables here. This is a cool original table somebody made from scratch called Space Ramp. That one was added. 
A beautiful table here from 1978 called uh, Silver Ball Mania. This is the ultimate edition. Here's a 1990s table from Gottlieb called Silver Slugger that was added. And uh, I mean, at the end of the day, there's really nothing missing here, right? I mean, you can keep going and going and going through all these different tables here. It's, it's absolutely incredible. Um, let's see here. Here's Sharky's Shootout. That's a 2000 Stern table. Again, full color DMD in the middle there. This one I hadn't seen before called Secret Service. This is a 1988 Data East table. This is the uh, Rolling Stones 2011 Stern table. It's not the older Rolling Stones table, so that's uh, looking pretty good here. Nice topper video showing a concert. Here's that Rocky table I mentioned earlier in the video where uh, it's just a standard back glass instead of having the one next to it which has the uh, video playback, right? This is one of my very favorite tables. It's uh, River Boat Gambler. Looks really good. Not sure if I ever showed this one off, the Retro Flare uh, arcade jukebox table. This one they're actually working on Retro Flare 2 now, which will be released uh, soon. This table Radical has been refreshed not too long ago and was added. This is a cool uh, original table somebody made based on the Psycho uh, movie by Alfred Hitchcock. Pizza Time is back up and running. Um, they had a few problems with it at one point, and now it's all there. Nice um, animated wheel art here. This one seems to be new. This is called Pharaoh Dead Rise. Looks like it has two play fields on the top and bo bottom portion with ramps going up. And here's another version of that same table. So sometimes you will find that different people made the table and they look different. Slightly different, of course. So that's kind of nice. Here's another new table, Party Animal by Bali, 1987. This looks like a uh, 2016 Stern table called Pabst Can Crusher. Crank it up. This no fear table has been refreshed. So again, better graphics here. Um, latest um, visual pinball emulator. And don't forget, guys, we have all 32 NFL teams represented here under the Stern 2001 NFL table. So if you go over, you can see how it changes the helmets. This is the Cincinnati Bengals close to us here. Buffalo Bills, Denver Broncos, Cleveland Browns, Tampa Bay, you name it. So that's all there, all 32 teams. Yeah, here's another one, Lights, Camera, Action, 1989 Gauntlet table I hadn't seen before. Um, I realized that I'm not showing off all the greatest and most popular tables because we've done that in previous videos. This is just to show you guys some of the new tables that are on here, right? It's um, just incredible the amount of uh, content in here right now. So there's everything and then some uh, that you could possibly want, right? This is a 1978 Taito table. Taito didn't make a whole lot of machines, but uh, this one looks pretty good. Lady Luck. Some of you out there were asking how many Jurassic tables, the park tables we have. So let me show that. 1993 Data East, the original. Really cool because that um, dinosaur up there, it initializes itself and you can really hear the gear motor go off uh, that we have in this machine. Then we have one called the Lost World, and that's um, a Sega table. 
Then we have here a Pinball FX3 table. That's the um, Jurassic Park Pinball. Another one from uh, Pinball FX3, Pinball Mayhem, Jurassic Park. Then here's a third Jurassic Park play, uh, Pinball FX3 called Jurassic World. And that's it. And again, to reiterate, when a, a table has multiple versions, they will be next to each other like this. This is the alternate sound table of Judge Dredd. This is your original. And then over here is the, it says videos down here, so you can Not see this is the uh, Judge Dredd videos, pop, video pop pack version. This is another one I hadn't seen. This is called Jolly Park. This is a refresh of Jackbot, and of course with full color DMD in the middle. One of the top tables, I would say. And of course I have to show off the one that I actually owned as a child. Jack in the Box is in here, of course, and it plays really true. It's actually a little slower, and uh, it's a little harder to uh, get the ball where, um, you know, the, the flippers are a little bit... They feel different. I mean, I don't know how they did it physic with the physics, but um, I can attest to the fact that it's it's very close to the original. Let's take a quick look at how many Iron Man tables are on the final version. This is the Pro Vault Videos Pop Pack Edition. This is the uh, Pinball FX3, the Invincible Iron Man table. Then we have the Future Pinball Iron Man. This here is your modded Iron Man edition from Stern. So different looking play field. This here is your standard, no, this is an original table somebody made. That's it. And four Indiana Jones tables. So you have your Stern 2008. That's completely refreshed and has better graphics now. This here has the alternate sounds version of the uh, 1993 Williams table with full color DMD. The next one over has pop pack videos on the back. Same table. And the last one is, um, I don't even know what the difference is here, but it says Indiana Jones TPA. So it must be a, an offshoot, somebody else made it. So those are the Indiana Jones tables. A fun table for the kids called I Dream of Genie. That's an original table somebody created. This is a cool table, I, I like it. It's called Hollywood Heat, a 1986 Gottlieb table. And then over to the left here, Hocus Pocus, that's a good oldie 1976 Bali's table. This one looks good. Uh, it uh, has multiple lanes going down here and over there. It's called uh, Hit the Deck, 1978 Gottlieb table. Uh, here we have uh, the 2001 Stern Table High Roller Casino. <clears throat> a lot going on on the play field. Full color DMD. You know, obviously a great table to play. Here's another music table, Heavy Metal Meltdown. Very colorful. This is a newer uh, Holly Davidson table made by Sega in 1999. So this is the, different from the uh, original Harley Davidson table that I'm gonna show you here in a second. The, this, this here is the original made by Bali in 1991. We just recently created um, a custom Grateful Dead artwork wrap for one of our customers, and this is the matching table. This is an original table made by the community member. This one here is one of my favorites because I grew up with that TV series overseas. Um, it actually uh, is kind of a kid's table, but it plays really, really well. It's an awesome looking one, Goldorak. And uh, that, uh, let's see here. 
This is another Top Gun offshoot table called Gold Wings. A refresh of the Godzilla table, so better graphics overall. This is a Sega 1998 table. Full color DMD in the middle. And nice uh, trailer playing on the topper. Here's another table I hadn't seen before. This is called Get Gladiators, and it's a 1993 table by uh, Gottlieb. This is a different looking table than most. This is Genesis by Gottlieb in 1986. Um, that one also full color DMD. Here's the 1976 Freedom Table that, you know, we have actually artwork uh, recreated for this. Here's another baseball-based um, themed table called Frank Thomas's Big Hurt. That one ha has been added recently. This is actually kind of interesting to see that somebody made a, the Fathom Table Standard Edition and then what they somebody else created the uh, Fathom LED edition so you can see how it's a little more it's darker but they have these LEDs pop out so these are the two different tables that are available here you have two versions of the family guy table that are now in here uh, this is the standard edition and then here you have your video pop back pl uh, edition playing videos on the back glass same table otherwise Three F14 tables now in there. This is your standard edition. This is your video pup pack edition. And then this is your future pinball version of the same table. Figured I would show you this one. This is called Egghead. And you can see how many bumpers there are up on top there. Crazy table, uh, 1961. So that's a really old um, table, but a goodie. So they now have the Dungeons and Dragons uh, Bali 1987 table on here as well. This Doctor Who table was recently redone and upgraded to a new version. So better graphics on the play field, full DMD, uh, sorry, full color DMD in the middle and a beautiful topper. Here's the Diablo pinball table. This is Zachary or Zakaria table, um, Devil Riders. That looks really nice. Cybernaut seems to be a new table, and what's nice here is you have the standard version here. And then you have one that's like the dark night mode edition right next to it. Somebody created this Crash Bandicoot table uh, for, I mean, this is nice for the kids. I don't think I've shown off this table. Uh, I'm a big Corvette fan, so I've owned several. Um, so this is a uh, 1994 Bali uh, remake of the Corvette table. Lots of fun to play. Here's another one I hadn't seen before. Contact, 1978 Williams table. Very colorful. Here's the class of 1912 table. That's a Gottlieb 1991 edition. This is a Gottlieb 1991 car hop table. This is a cannon fodder original table somebody created. So a ton of variety as you can tell. This is Cactus Jacks with the animated wheel art and the entire play field has been completely redone. So it's in much higher resolution than it used to be. This is 
Bubba Redneck, the Redneck Werewolf, and that's an original table somebody created. Looks pretty good. One of my very favorite uh, machines that was refreshed not too long ago, the uh, Machine Bride of Pinbot. Extremely good gameplay on this one. Here's the Break Shot table. That's a Capcom table from 1996. Talk about one-offs. This is a company called Inder uh, that created this machine back in 1985. So here we have the Bounty Hunter Gotlib 1985 table. This is Boomerang, 1974 Bali table. Quite different layout. One of the latest uh, original tables made. It's uh, Blade Runner 2049. I had mentioned it before in a different video, but Black Flaggers, of course, is part of the lineup now. There we go. No rest. Battlestar Galactica, a 1980s Williams table is in here. Commander, long range scan indicates our squadrons are engaged. All right, let's take a look at how many Batman tables are in here now. So you have the uh, videos edition pop pack version of the Dark Knight. Then you have your uh, regular version. This is a Batman Forever standard edition. And your Pop Pack edition of the Data East 1991 table. And then your standard version without the Pop Packs. Then Batman 66 we just discussed that we're going to be playing here in a second. And then Batman 66, the original table somebody made from scratch. So let's actually play this Batman 66. And I think this video is getting to be pretty long. It's 40 minutes in, in size right now. So let's go ahead and start this thing up. Please wait. I am now loading up the game. Have fun. All right, so here we are. Let me add some coins and let's get started. Player two. A beautiful weapon. Oh, that was not good. Player two. A little nudging here. I'll call him, sir. Before you trip over your case, Batman, riddle me this. Alright, that's it. Four games played. I think this is another one that they added not too long ago, Barracora, 1981 Williams table. All right, and uh, Attack from Mars, we have tons of versions. This is the video pop pack version that plays pop packs up on top. And here you have your modded edition, which runs off of um, Pinball FX 10.7. This is the Pinball FX 3 Zen Studios table. And here you have one that's just a standard 1995 Valley's table, nothing special on that, but with full color DMD, and as you can see here, animated wheels. And the last one is Attack and Revenge from Mars, which was uh, an offshoot where it's just different looking, the layout is different on there. A beautiful looking table, this is the Bali 1989 table, Atlantis. 
We have the artwork for this also for the wrap. This Apollo 13 table has been refreshed recently and added. So better graphics, full color DMD again. This is an original table somebody made called Animal. Animated wheel here. Good for the kids. Another gorgeous looking table here, uh, Andromeda, 1985. It's an one off by game plan. Alien Poker, Williams, 1980. This is a good example of an original table somebody created from scratch that does not exist as a mechanical, Airwolf. Alright, I will conclude this demo uh, with uh, Airborne here, a Capcom 1996 table. I mean, there's so much to show, there's no way I can go through over a thousand tables, obviously. But um, it uh, has culminated now to where over the next week or two, this is going to go gold. It will be announced and um, anybody that owns an Ultra VP will be um, informed on how to upgrade and of course with all the new orders, this new version of the software is available uh, through that third party. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, of course. Hit the notification bell if you want to see future videos and be notified when this is going gold. And uh, as usual, give us a call if you have any questions and uh, wish to order. Thanks.